And thank you for those of you have, who have encouraged me to do this on a weekly basis for the next 52 weeks. This is going to be a short video, uh, 200 seconds or less. I promised you that for the next 52 weeks, and I won't exceed it. So this is going to be week number one, and I'm going to call it morality. I contend that the Ten Commandments, as recorded in the Hebrew Pentateuch, is the greatest work on morality that has ever been written, beyond anything that's, that's written today in terms of, of morality and ethics and, and philosophy. But, you know, it wasn't always that way. Um, about 15 years ago, before I re retired, I had a friend that was sitting beside me as I was driving a car in Paris, France. And um, as we were driving along, he was from Cairo. And we had two different uh, persuasions on our religious beliefs. And um, he said something very profound to me at the time. He said to me, do you know, all religions have these laws and these laws just teach us to be better people, so all religions are really the same. And who was I to tell this man that he was wrong and I was right? Who was he to tell the Buddhist or the Hindu that they were wrong and he was right? How can we ever know? And so I ended up doing a study. I studied the, uh, the, the holy books of the Jewish people, the uh, the, the books of the Muslims, the Buddhists, the Hindus, and sure enough, when you get inside all those books, you find them all having these laws. Like, for example, the law, thou shalt not kill. It exists in the, in the uh, Hebrew uh, Pentateuch and the Ten Commandments. It exists in the, in the Muslim books, the Buddhist books, and the Hindu books. In fact, one of them even says, don't kill anything that has breath. So it's, uh, it's a commandment to that, and a law that sort of exists everywhere. And so how can we say that anything is right or anything is wrong? It's all what we believe. That's kind of where it's come down to, relativity. It's relative to something else. And so I kind of challenge that because it isn't just what we believe, because if it's what we believe, then we wouldn't have the world we're living in today. Because if we believe that thou shalt not kill, not lie, not steal, not cheat, not covet neighbor's things, um, uh, honor your, your mother and your father, if you did all of those things, there'd be no need for any jails, there'd be no need for any courts, there'd be no need for police or guns or weapons or anything of that nature. And yet that exists today. So if we all believe it, why are we living in a world we are today? I think the reason is that we don't really know it. You see, the only place that's written in all these holy books where we know the source of the commandment is in the Jewish Hebrew text. It says, before all those commandments, it says, and God said all these things. Yes, God said all those things. So it wasn't man writing some words down and some commandments like it is in all the other holy books. It's God telling us the commandments. And so if we follow those commandments, then we surely are going to live a life that's morally correct. And yet we find ourselves in a world where that's not the case. And so I wonder to myself, what would we do if, if things were a little different? If we, in fact, we're not following that law, and that's the case. Because if you believe something, and it's something you believe in, then you can obviously change it tomorrow with a different belief. And that's why we have people doing crimes. That's why we have people hurting other people. That's why we have theft. That's why we have killings today. Because people are believing whatever they want to believe, rather than following what they know. And so just follow what you really know. And that is what God tells you is the truth. But I'm going to end right now by saying to you something that you might find a little strange. God never intended to give us these Ten Commandments. Never. If he didn't want to give us the Ten Commandments, what did he want to do? Well, I've only got 200 seconds, so I'm going to say bye. 
And come back next week, and I'm going to explain to you why God never wanted to give us the Ten Commandments. Bye for now.